Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of May, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much happiness, luck, harmony, and peace, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back Taurus, you guys rock, you're awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to any kind of readings, whether it's pendulum, oracle, tarot, palm readings, um, any kind of readings, focus on the energy and the messages. That's most important. And never, ever force a reading. What's for you will be for you. What is not, please leave behind for somebody else. Always exercise your free will. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father, God, your beautiful angels, of course, Jesus Christ, your spiritual teams and your families, your healers, your helpers, your guides. They're here to help you. They're here to bless you, lean and trust on God and the divine, listen to your intuition, use your discernment and always do what you guys feel is best for you and your families at all times. Please continue to like, share, subscribe and comment. Taurus, you guys are so helpful and awesome and wonderful about helping me grow my channel. Thank you so much. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do take donations. All that information is listed in the description box. All the services that I offer are listed there as well, including pricing. Please feel free to email me and reach out. I'll be happy to help you guys to the best of my ability. Do not sit there and suffer in silence. God sends helpers like me and many millions of others to help get the help you need. It will be life changing. Taurus, this reading is in regards to the karma that people are reaping and receiving for hurting you and betraying you. It's typically geared towards evil people and narcissists in your life. Understand this, it is something I'm guided to do, to do these readings like this, and it is preparation for you and for them. Sometimes they cross watch. We're all here to learn, so hopefully they learn and change, but of course that's up to them. This reading gives you guys that preparation, but it's also a reminder that they did not get away with what they did to you. It gets very deep and it can be very sensitive to some people. If it is, please feel free to click off. There are thousands and millions of other incredible readers. Please reach out to them. Or come back and watch one of my other types of readings because I do various types. I have shorts coming up and podcasts and so many other wonderful things coming up. So get in where you fit in. No harm, no foul. So if you guys have decided to proceed, let's jump into your reading. It has been prayed and meditated on. The overall energy in regards to those who have betrayed you is that they lack drive and determination. So they have a lack of drive and determination. This means they really don't have goals that are something that people would be proud of. They don't have goals. They're not looking to the future. They're they're about what they can get quick, quick fixes here and now. A lot of them are addicts. And we all know that goes hand in hand with narcissists. They're usually addicted to evil people, low vibrational people, doing low things, being mischievous and distant, can't trust them. So they're very dishonest. You know, they have inflated ego. They don't have driving determination. You do. This is why you guys... <clears throat> excuse me this is why you're not a match with people like this especially if they're friends or if they were a love interest like let's say they were an ex-spouse ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend twin flame soulmate whoever they are you know it could be sibling could be family but you cannot surround yourself with people who are going nowhere fast because they choose to stay stuck and stagnant they keep going lower and lower while you guys are elevating higher and higher to walk your divine path and purpose so we're all being called to step up and walk our divine path and purpose, but there are people who choose not to do it. These people who went against you and betrayed you and hurt you, they have hit rock bottom. Some of them are homeless. Some of them are definitely in need of desperate help. They need to decide to change. Some of them are just so lost. They don't know if they're coming or going. I mean, they just, they're out of their mind. You know, a lot of them need to be in mental institutions. They need help. They need a lot of assistance, but they need to get it right with God first. They need to want to change. They need to get back to a place where they had, you know, some kind of class about themselves, some kind of dignity. Even when they were pretending, they had time. You know, I always see it as these people had time to change. What happened is they got worse and they didn't change. So now they've gone down. They're in this downward spiral They've hit rock bottom. A lot of them are drug users. They're abusing all kinds of substances and th different things that's toxic for their body. It's like they don't see a way up. They don't see a way out. 
and they had the time to do it. They looked at you as you were gullible because they took your kindness as weakness. They took you for granted. You guys were very patient, loyal, and loving. And they took they took that as, okay, you're just being gullible. So really people do have to learn that it's important to ask questions and find out who people are. Talk to their family members, talk to their friends, look into their past if you have to, because it's important to know who you're dealing with because narcissists, as you guys know, are excellent, excellent manipulators, excellent liars. But here's the thing. God saw them. Spirit sees them. And spirit will take the mask off. God has taken the mask off of these people. We see them for who they are. They're truly the ones that's gullible because they didn't even have the strength or courage to sit next to you with respect and honor and dignity. They didn't even have the courage to step up and walk in their divinity, to be close with God, to walk their path and purpose. They chose to disregard you and their purpose. You are a part of their purpose. So who's really gullible? They are. And they know this. They know that they're at fault. They know their life, no matter who they blame, they know that their life and where they ended up, and if they're not there yet, they're, they're headed to rock bottom. If they haven't got there, for the ones who got there, they know it's their fault. They know their actions led them to where they are. They can lie. They can hide. They can deny. They can blame all they want. Deep down, they know it is completely 100% their fault why they are where they are. You gave them plenty of help, love, and support. And like I said, they disregarded that. They used you. They used everybody around. They used your beautiful energy to heal their broken heart from people who mistreated them or abused them from childhood on up. So it's no child's fault for being abused. That's not okay. At a certain point, people know that when they keep repeating patterns and it's toxic and people keep telling them that they need help, that you know what? It's a good idea to say, you know what? I do need help. It's a good idea to say, you know, well, let me look into these resources and so many resources are free there are so many podcasts that's free self-help books they could check out the library there's so many things that's free today so many videos of all these life coaches and healers and helpers and priests and pastors they don't have any excuses they use you to heal their broken heart but they never completely healed it was temporary they healed just enough to run to the next man or to the next woman so they're seeing where it got them. They never fully healed. They were just using your energy to keep going. But they turned against you. I'm hearing they ghosted you guys. They left you guys in abandonment. They didn't value the friendship or the relationship you guys had. They didn't value your love. They didn't value you. And that's not okay. They're jealous of you, Taurus, because you're verbally intelligent. You know how to speak with class and integrity. You guys have dignity about yourselves. They don't have this. They pretended to be. It's like if you saw that you were the one who always had to speak up, you had to go clean up behind embarrassing things that they said. You had to clean up the language or, you know, say, oh, she's not really like that. He's not really like that. He don't really think like that. He don't know what he's saying. You know, people giving you those eyes like, what's wrong with this person? What's wrong with your person? It's because they lacked in intelligence. This person could have really used more education. And it doesn't even matter if they have a master's or PhD. They need to keep learning about life, about growth. You know, so many people get stagnant. They, they stop growing, but you're verbally intelligent. They're jealous of that. You have a way with your words. You articulate words well. You know how to communicate. You could talk to anybody. You're very good natured and you're friendly and you're smart. You guys have outsmarted them. They never thought you would leave. They never thought you would catch on, but you have. So once again, who's really gullible? Them, because they succumbed to their addictions. They succumbed to their environment. They conformed. They stayed stuck in the matrix when they had the light, the light they seen in you, the time, the energy that you put into them. They had time to change. They knew better. They always defended their wrongs. Anything that they did wrong, they made it seem like it was less than what it was. They would probably say things like, oh, well, whatever I do, you know, they made it seem like it was no big deal. It's basically they could do no wrong. They know they were wrong and it was significant, but they diminished it. They made it seem so small, like it was just nothing. It didn't matter, but it mattered to you. And that's why you brought it to their attention and others as well. But they didn't care because they didn't plan on changing. And they didn't care if they did something wrong to you. 
Some of them even cried to you or said they would do better. They're going to change. It was all huff, huff and puff. They were lying. Smoke and mirrors. These are liars. Narcissists usually are. So they always defended their wrong. So you left them, you know, stuck in. It's like, oh, that's how you feel. This is what you believe. Oh, you're really that low down. Okay, we'll stay there. Deal with your kind. Deal with yourself. A lot of you did represent the mirror to them, for them to see themselves, especially when you left. You know, I feel like somebody's still looking at your pictures and they see, when they see your pictures or they think of you, when they see you, if they're around you, if they see you at any point or your name comes up, they know they did you wrong. People know if you were good or bad to them. People know. They don't forget that. This narcissist or these narcissists could be a group. They're very greedy and selfish. Always feeling entitled after anything that they can get their hands on, always taking from me, all about me, all about mine, what they could get, even if they did one or two good deeds for you. And some of them will do good deeds, but that's because they're getting 10,000 good things and gifts and blessings back from you. They didn't do it with their good heart and good intentions. And some of them are facing an unwanted pregnancy. They're going to have to come out them pockets. They're going to be exposed for this if they haven't been already. They're going to have to fess up. It's going to come out. What's done in the dark is going to come to light. They were out here cheating and they made a side baby. And it is never the child's fault. It's never the baby's fault. They're going to have to explain someday how this child was born. You love this person. You want a real relationship. You want to be with them. You can see the future. You see the good and how you guys can build and work together and have a business or a partnership and work together. They didn't want that. This person has major issues. It's like they, they sabotage everything. I'm hearing self-sabotage as well. They sabotage everything that's good. They sabotage the relationship with you. They may have strained relationship with friends and others. People are cutting loose of this person. You guys walked away because you felt you had to. They were going nowhere. They were holding you back. They were causing you delays. There was never any growth. They were not even planting seeds. It's like this person wasn't even trying. They were pretending to try. They talk a big game. They talk a good game, but they never back it up. They never go all the way through. They don't get to the finish line. You guys had to let them go and move forward. You did the right thing. They have major issues. They need a therapist. They need to spend time, some of them, in detox. Others of them need group counseling. They need a lot of help, especially, you know, the ones who have already hit rock bottom. They have major issues. This is means this person ran from living life to the fullest. They live life like a party. You know, they may have taken a lot of risks. They always take risks, but it hurts people. It leaves a string of people hurt like you in the process. They have major problems. You told them they have issues, a lot of you. So some of them could have been violent, never tolerate any abuse of any kind, whether it's verbal or physical. One time is too many. People have to learn to check people at the door. You don't get talked to that way. That's disrespectful and beneath you. You don't get hands put on you. That's already below your boundaries. People have to learn to set boundaries. I feel like most of you have. So kudos and congratulations to that because people will cross your boundaries if you don't have them in place. It has to be in place. It has to be discussed. It has to be talked about. I feel like this person only had empathy for themselves. And now it's like they're cut out of your blessings. They never took accountability for anything. They were never going to be responsible. They may have left you guys to take care of the kids on your own and the bills on your own, the house on your own. And it's like, what did you need them for? You were doing their role, their job, and yours. And that was so unfair. This person hates life. They hate you. They hate life. They hate everything except their addictions. They love that. Their addictions is the problem. Them choosing their, their addictions is the problem. Them not going to get help to break these addictions and habits is the problem. They were supposed to break these bad habits. This is a hater. They hate that you're making progress, that you're growing, that you're smart and intelligent, that people love to be around you. You're likable. You're trustworthy. You're everything that they're not. And that's what they hate because they had a chance to get there. And whenever you left, that helped expose them. It's not what you told people. It's not what you had to say. It's what you didn't say. It's your character that's that continued. 
Your character still stands firm and strong. You're still a good person. You're better without them. You know this. You're happier. You're healthier. You sleep better without them. Some of you guys may see them and dream them from time to time. It's because they're thinking of you so heavy. It's their fault why you walked away. It's their fault why this situation failed. It's their fault why they hit rock bottom. It is their fault. Do not ever take their responsibility or accountability. Don't take their blame. That's on them. They hate life because they did not live life the way God designed them to live it. And they had more than enough time to do it. And as long as they're alive, they still have time. But now it's on them. They don't have the same help. They don't have the same support. But when God see people seriously trying and really want to change and are implementing the actions that it takes in a positive way, the righteous way, the Christ-like way, he will send helpers. But they have to get up and do their part. And this is why you guys are removed and other people too out the situation. So this person can see themselves, their raw, uncut self. They did you dirty and they're wrong. And they're facing major karma because they lost a lot. Losing you was the greatest karma. And now they have a child for a lot of them. This may not apply to everybody, but for a lot of them, once they find out about this pregnancy, they're going to have to be responsible. Whether they want to or not, because I feel like whoever they're having this child with, that person I do believe is going to court. So if they don't pay for this kid, if they don't show up for this one, they're going to face court consequences, possibly jail they're going to have to pay child support. This person that they got them tangled with, involved with, this person is not playing with them. They went straight to karma and they're going to have to pay this debt. And it's their fault. They chose to be reckless. They chose to cheat. They chose to mistreat you and do you wrong. You were their blessing. They did not count their blessings. They were not thankful for you. And now they have major issues. And the one person that could have helped them heal you, you're gone. So do what's best for you guys. I don't blame you guys for walking away. You guys did what's right for you and your family. Keep yourself safe. Surround yourself with people who love and value you. Keep loving God. Keep loving yourself. Keep winning. You deserve blessings and more will come. This person was not here to help you build. They were just a tag along like a leech. And you guys had to cut that off and I don't blame you. Go towards your divinity. Go towards God and focus on winning because you guys have a winning spirit good things will come to you whatever they chose let them sit in that and deal with it that's between them and god keep focused on the prize you guys have blessings ahead okay taurus this has been your reading for the mid-month of may year 2023 i hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible i'm sending you all hope happiness inspiration positivity and of course abundance thank you guys so much for watching god bless you bye taurus